Shona is um, enthusiastic, an absolute ambassador in what she does. She's knowledgeable, she's understanding, she's compassionate, and she's got that zest for life, um, a real sparkle, and tends to bring people along with her. Shona has achieved a lot since she started losing her sight. She's been involved in a lot of projects. When Shona gets involved with something, she gives it her full attention. She's such a, a positive person. She's a, she's a force in nature and she, she just doesn't give in to anything. She's the sort of person, she might feel sorry for herself for about two minutes and then she'll just get up and go, right, what's for tea? I know Shona because I met Shona at the Jog Scotland um, about five years ago and um, I met her with my friend Dot who also works for Guide Dogs and um, at the time there were just two girls standing at the side and I had gone on my own and I thought oh my goodness I don't know anyone but everybody was really friendly particularly Dot and Shona and as I got to know Shona more through just getting to know her um, I found out that she didn't only do jogging, she went tandem riding, she goes sailing, she climbs Monroe's, you name it, Shona does it. For somebody with virtually not much vision, she's got a fantastic vision for life and a zest for life that just is, I'm in awe. <laughs> Shona also skis and I'm actually her ski guide. so. Shona skis in front of me and we have radio mics and I tell Shona to turn and I just make sure that it's safe. Shona is not too bad because she has a tiny bit of vision so she can see some shadows and things but some of the other people that I guide for have no vision and I think it's great that you know they can go skiing you know it's, I think that's really good that they're confident enough to do that. Shona is very positive, enthusiastic, um, welcoming and a fantastic ambassador for anything she does in life. As a volunteer, uh, Shona helps out at different uh, fundraising, collection days. She does lots of work where she's promoting guide dogs. Um, so that for people who are maybe interested in getting a guide dog, she tells them what it's like and how much it changes their life. She does such a good job of it because she's got such a nice personality and I think she's really good for guide dogs, um, she's very positive. She's a great ambassador for guide dogs. Whenever she's out with her dog, she's showing the public how great it is to have a dog. She does a lot for the fundraising side of things. For me, um, one of the major things that she does is she actually goes along and talks to clients who have just newly been registered as blind or partially sighted. And as someone who has gone through that journey, it's so important that they actually can get to speak to somebody. Her enthusiasm, the fact that she's actually been there, the fact that she actually can tell them the positives. Yes, she will also say it can be a, a rough journey getting there. Yes, we can get depressed, but there's always that positiveness at the end of it. Shona has got such a bubbly personality that other volunteers, they follow her example. You know, they, they, they get the enthusiasm and they also get Shona's sense of fun as well. Shona deserves the award because of all the things that she actually does, all the things she volunteers for. Um, she's not just a volunteer for guide dogs, um, obviously I'm guide dog uniform and I know very much what she does for us. However, she does also volunteer for the Woodland Trust. She um, is open to anybody who maybe asks her to come along and do something. If it's a cause that she thinks is worth doing, she will go into it. Mm -hmm.